All right, I'm just gonna get a quick drink and then I'll be right back. One of you wants to leave the warm up, actually. I don't know. Can you guys tell me? <clears throat> Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that. We're just gonna go through like that uh, side control Kimura series to warm up. So I'll just kind of run it past you guys here real quick so you can see it one more time. So starting in side control, underhook, pull it across, get your dummy on the side, stepping over, get your Kimura grip, one. Then uh, if it's not tapping there, we're gonna go to our, our step over arm bar, our spinning arm bar. So my knee on the back side just pops up, pins, I sit down, got my arm bar here. If that's not hidden, I'm gonna go for my scissor choke. So I fall to my side, shoot my bottom leg under, squeeze, if that's not hidden. I still have my Kimura grip. I undo my, or take, uncross my legs, come back up over the top and finish my Kimura there. All right, so we're just gonna wrap that. Well, Jack's getting a drink. Did you get that, Alex? <laughs> yeah, okay. you were looking at me weird. I was like, uh-oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, just wrap that for a minute. Get moving. There. Take your dummy up, step over, sit on the head. Kimura. Spinning arm bar. Boom. Scissor. Boom. Pop it over. Kimura. Oh. Hopefully everyone in this class will know what this is. Yeah, I think they'll be. There. Up. Lock. Kimura. It's <clears throat> very useful to see. I use the head scissor a lot when I was a I can see myself incorporating it. And then I stopped for some reason. It's one of those things. I'm like, I'm not sure why I stopped doing it. It's so nice. It's mean. It, it is pretty nasty. Like crude but effective is how I'm always <laughs> yeah. referring to it. I would almost feel bad doing it to someone. Depends. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> Also, I've actually got into like legitimately high level guys, like guys that have been to worlds and all that, and it's never worked. Yeah. They just eat it. It's not like I couldn't even get it locked in, I would just be squeezing it. And time. All right. Talking about. Katagatami, so the head and arm choke, and the reverse Ezekiel. Let's start with the reverse Ezekiel because it's one of the more novel ones. It works from both back control and side control. And you can also do it from mouth. So let's go to back control. <coughs> this is not one that you see a lot, but it's, it is very useful. So, this is an outside option. So what's going to happen sometimes is the, the rear naked choke and everything else won't be available, right? But I have this arm around the neck, okay? So this arm is around the neck. It's it's available for me to use, right? All I gotta do is I gotta find a way to use my bicep and my, my bicep as the choking mechanism instead of my forearm, because sometimes my forearm will be, you know, getting hand fucked. So there's a couple of ways to do this. Let's adjust a little bit. So, this is something I got from Ryan Hall, uh, from watching a lot of his stuff, but what you wanna do, is you actually wanna start to bail from the back control, almost like you're attempting to remount. So I'm actually gonna take my hook on the far side out, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab my own sleeve, and I'm going to start pulling here, and Coach Nathan can keep hand fighting, right? Great. It's not, it, this isn't a huge deal, but, what I'm going to do once I take this foot out is my other leg is going to become a hook. And I'm going to take Coach Nathan to the side. Okay? Once I get to the side, once I get him to the side, you'll see why I grabbed my own sleeve initially. Okay? I'm going to pull this arm all the way through, almost like I'm... Oh, I'm 
actually, I, I did it the wrong way, sorry. <laughs> I got a little confused then. Sorry, All right? So, as I take the guy to his side, I'm gonna grab my other side. So, whoop. So keep screwing this up. I take this foot out, make a hook, take him across, right? And I come here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna pull this arm that is currently underneath through. So, come here and pull this sleeve across. At this point, I'm gonna grab my own sleeve, bring the other hand over, and this is now my reverse Ezekiel. So this is actually a nicer version of the Ezekiel. It's more of a pure choke rather than me using my fist in my opponent's throat. But uh, a lot of times, right, if I can create this closed space with my sleeve and just use not even my fist, I'm kind of using the blade of my forearm to cover the other side. Uh, it'll work really well. So from side control, which is probably an easier setup, All right? I'm going to need my opponent on their side. So there's a couple of ways we can get this done. I like to do this whole sit through thing, getting this hand into the, into the armpit and then shucking, using my arm as a bar, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reach underneath and I'm gonna grab the head. This arm comes around and I come here. I feed my own sleeve, feed this arm over the top, and to finish, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring this knee in, lean towards the head, keeping my grips tight. If this doesn't work, again, you can throw that leg over and continue to pressure. Nice thing about doing this with a dummy, sorry, Coach Nate. No, no, that's fine. It, it feels like the other way you did it, too. What? Like for the first way you went, it felt like you could have finished it there, too. Yep, you can. You can finish it either way. Okay. With a dummy, your dummy doesn't actually have to be wearing the key because you're actually just using your own key. So, however you get the dummy up on its side, all right, I've, I've always preferred to do it this way. Here, here. I'm going to reach this hand through and I'm gonna grab the sleeve. So the arm underneath the armpit is gonna reach through and grab my own sleeve. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna maintain that sleeve grip, I'm gonna work my hand over to the top side of the neck to cover the opposite side. Now I can just pull, staying on my knees, or I can put a knee in the hip and come here. This is gonna put a lot of pressure on your grips, but you wanna hang on to that sleeve and pressure on the top side with your arm and finish the reverse Ezekiel. Okay, so here, here, you're essentially forming a box. I'm pressuring that way. Good? All right, give that a try, guys. Just start from the side. Yep, start, start from the side. Because I, I confused myself when I did the... Yeah, like the when you first set it up there, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can see where this is going to get tight. I was just waiting for you to pull and be like, oh, no, I set it up wrong. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so you're here. So are you going just like however you get the dummy up on it? So are you going, you're coming under yes. here. Grabbing the armpit and then kind of shocking. Pulling up here. Okay. Here. Grabbing. You're grabbing this. Yes. Here. Coming in. Grab your so arm your arm left arm is gonna grab your right sleeve, and then your right hand is gonna work around to the top side. Come around. Yep. There's your choke. Got it. I'm reaching back and sitting right here. Good. Okay. Your arm that's going around the arm and over the shoulder is going to be the one that's grabbing the sleeve. Okay. Here. Good. Nigel, you want to shut that arm to the front, right? So once you get your dummy up on its side, there you go. Now, it's going to be your left arm, Nigel, that's going to grab your right sleeve and then your right hand is gonna work over the top. Perfect, there you go. Looks like Jacinto's got it as well. All right, you wanna turn your dummy onto its side. You wanna close that loop with your sleeve. Just back stop up here, or is there any benefit to getting You can, yeah, you can do or? either one. Yeah. Okay. Most of the time, this is pretty tight, so you can finish it just from the knees by pressuring, 
but if you need to, you can also lean over, start backstopping the guy, or you can put him to hook him. Yep, just like Coach Nick is doing right now. <clears throat> One more minute. So, question in the chat. No problem, Chris. time. Not a fan of the traditional Ezekiel. The traditional. One so for this one, just try to think arm triangle. When you're, there's only one defense. For, uh, there's one early defense for an arm triangle, which is to do what? Turn away. But you can't turn in, so you turn away. This sets up the Ezekiel. <clears throat> just from second to second. If I was setting up an arm triangle, I would be like this, right? I'd be trying to flatten them out and get an arm triangle. If he rolls away, that's the submission right there, right? So it's just an arm triangle. You're already in the position. You just stick your hand in your sleeve and you go for it. From the back, it's almost the same thing. So normally when you're on the back, right, which hand is he trying to defend against? Top one. So I know that he's defending against the top arm. So I shift my arm up, right? So I take the bottom arm and I bring it up closer to his neck. Normally the bottom arm is down closer to his armpit, right? So if I find I'm trying to set up chokes here and he's defending, that's fine. I pull my arm up. I pull the bottom arm up and now I can come behind and get the reverse Z here. This is the same as an arm triangle. If we would have just fall to the side, I took my leg out, sorry, yeah. you would just be in the exact same position. So it's just an arm triangle. So think arm triangle from the back, arm triangle from the side. You just stick your arm in and you get easy. Okay. So Coach nell has got that one figured out. The one thing is that if you're going to go for that one, all right, you, you want to take your leg out so you create that angle for yourself. So I'm here, he's attacking the top arm, I'm going to connect my palms, I'm going to get over here. I feed my sleeve, I work my hand to the other side, and if I, I'm having trouble finishing it from here, I'm just gonna take my, take my leg out, right? That's gonna give him space to go to that side. I come back up top, and I finish it. So, again, it's a fairly reliable finish. Uh, it's not seen a ton. Uh, this is one of the rare submissions, even in Gi Jiu Jitsu. So it's a good one to have, because people don't expect it, just because it's not very often seen. Okay, so you're gonna pull, right? The idea, again, with common with arm triangles, the arm that's going underneath the armpit that's gonna end up being the choking arm. So you're gonna pull it up high, grab, and then establish your choke. Okay? I challenge you to do this no gi. Oh, it's gonna require a lot of grip strength. Actually, Coach Nathan pulled off something too no, bad. Not you, that. them. I'm challenging them to do it no gi. <laughs> it's doable, it's just gonna look really weird. You have to think about it. There's a way to do it. I'm pretty sure I see it, but I, I'm pretty sure I can I'll do wait. it. I'll I'm not. This. <laughs> it's basically what you did last That's time. That's homework for the weekend. Oh, okay, and I we'll just yeah, them did it weird moves. Yeah, it's just like to a happen to get some random arm triangle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like that. No gi, like Justin. Yeah. Yeah. Try to figure out how you do it. No gi. Yep. Grab your own bicep, Nick, and then go over the top. Grab your own bicep and then cut your hand over the top. Trying to figure out. So, you want to cut your hand over the top first because you're going to have a hard time bringing your arm up. So you kind of want to do that, yeah, that, that, that loop time. like you do with a rear naked choke. How, um, what's his name, Giles, Lockton Giles explains it. Yes. He does the loop and he brings, instead of locking up a rear naked like this, you have the arm in and you... Yes, and then you uh, ram the elbow over the top. That's no, I've never seen you just have a trouble times. with Ezekiel's is getting that hand. Sorry? That's why I struggle with Ezekiel's getting that hand over. Now the second hard part is I mean, when you do what's this that thing is the dars. Yeah, when you do the dars, if you have short arms, the trick is to drop your shoulder to the map. It's the same thing here. Yeah. 
My trick with the doors is I don't do it. That's not true. Just do the anaconda step. You're not step, doing it. Step number one, do the anaconda step. Um, so homework for the weekend, think about it. All right, move on. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about the exact same thing, which is the katakatani. Um, head and arm trick. So more common, uh, but still a very reliable submission. You see it all the time in MMA. The goal with the katagatami, if we're talking about mount or even back control, I want to think about isolating an arm. So a lot of times this is done with an underhook, right? So I'm, I'm going to get some sort of underhook. I'm going to walk, walk, walk my fingers along the floor until I can tap the top of my partner's head. At this point, I'm going to shift my head over and put it on the ground. It's actually fairly important at this point to have your head on the ground because that's what's going to seal this arm in here. You can pull on the head and feed your arm underneath. The next trick to the katagatami is palm up versus palm down. Your, your katagatami is going to be very, very weak if your choking arm ends up palm up. It's just not going to make for a very strong pull or a very strong lock. So you want to actually put your hand on the ground and walk your fingers along the floor to make sure you take up every little bit of space. Once you've taken up all that space, you can bring your other hand in and lock it palm to palm. At this point, you can start squeezing right away, driving down and forward. I've always thought about it as a shoveling motion. So a lot of people make the mistake of pulling to the side, right, like this way, and then pressuring into the head. That will work. But in order to really get down underneath the chin and get access to the artery, you're gonna have to back your shoulder up a little bit and I'm gonna drive down and in, almost on a diagonal. And that's what's going to get to that artery. So without a dummy, I'm thinking about, once I have this locked in, backing this up slightly, and then I'm gonna shovel my shoulder down, thinking about bringing it to this palm, right down, and in. Thinking about really tucking underneath that chin. Not that pulling sideways and pressuring with your head won't work. Underhook, I walk, 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 put my head down. But if I keep my head on the floor and Cookie Major tries to wiggle his arm free, it's going to be very, very difficult, right? If I break contact with the ground, there's gonna be that little bit of space for Coach Major to swing his head around. The other trick is I want to make sure my head is beneath the elbow. So if my head is like up high here, it, he does actually have space to work his shoulder free. Yeah, that'd be nasty with the yep. elbow too. So I want to be low behind the elbow here. And I'll walk my fingers along the ground to try and take up all the space I can. And I, I feel like this is tight enough that I can probably just drive oh, yeah. through here without locking. But Again, if, I guess if I chin yeah, if the work. chin is down, right, I might have to do a little bit more work. So I back my shoulder up, drop it down and in, secure with my other hand. There we go. So, depending on how tight the chin is, you're gonna have to make a little bit of adjustment. Come in here, bring that in, and then down. That's gonna be the trick for your head and arm choke. Okay. And we do generally want to stay in mountain when we do this. I kind of discovered this with Professor Mandel as well, right? You you stayed in the mountain, if at all possible, right? Meaning versus going to the side? Yes. It, it depends. I'll, I'll try for mount. <clears throat> Why give up the mount if you don't have to? If I can't get it from the mount and I really want it, maybe I'll switch to the side. Okay, so just working from the mount for now. We want to cover the dismount sequence. I'm sure most of you are familiar with it. But right now, I think the most important piece of the head and arm choke for everyone in this class is to focus on that little motion here. And right, pulling that shoulder down, in, pressure this way. The best way I have to think about this, Justin, as I see you kind of playing with that, is bringing my shoulder to my opposite palm. So if this is the shoulder that's applying the choke, I'm gonna think about driving it down and in towards the opposite palm here. And that's what's gonna collapse that space. 
Is there any, like, I always, when I get to these arm and triangles, I always end up, like, grabbing my bicep. You can. I reach through and I just get to, like, here. You That's can. not going to be tight. No? That's going to hold the position, but it's not going to help you finish it. Right, okay. And I always have to get off to the side. Yeah, and nope. that gives you very little mobility in your shoulder, right? You're like, uh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> the key is, like what Jack said, you have to walk your finger around so that, like, all of the slap. No, no, the, the other The other one, the choking arm. Once you set... Once you set that elbow, or so right now you don't have a choking arm. So yeah, okay. there. Okay, so it's gonna be your right arm right now as you're choking. Yeah, so I'm here. Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna walk the finger along the floor to set your set your bicep and your shoulder. Oh, I see. So get this in even deeper. Yeah, and keep your head on the ground. Yeah. And like push in here with my hand. Sorry, Jack. Um, can you explain that that bit where you were talking about collapsing the shoulder um, again? Because I I, I kind of missed what you were doing there. So, you guys can see from here, right? So most of the time, I find myself pulling my shoulder back slightly just to give myself a little bit of room, and I'm I think about taking this shoulder and bringing it into the center of my opposite palm. So I collapse it down and in this way. So here, here, and then I drive through. So bring your left shoulder in this case, my left shoulder towards my right palm. If you were on the other side, it would be vice versa. Right, that would be my right shoulder to my left palm. But it's opposite shoulder, opposite palm, here. And that's gonna shrink the space. And now I can drive my shoulder in. Okay, so collapsing the space, leading with the shoulder. Okay. Yes. Opposite shoulder, opposite this palm. one. Not that one. So this one here, I'm going to walk up, walk up? No. Oh, right. Under the head. Walk along. This is your choking hands. Yeah. Put it on your head. Yeah. And then. So to answer Justin's question, this is his shoulder. Right. He needs to take his shoulder and put it on the middle of the chest first, and so then drive it forward. Yeah. So that's, that's what Jack was trying to explain. So when you set up your position. So this is for Justin, so if he's watching. Actually, the camera is on Justin. Why is it on Justin? You need to switch it back. Here. Make sure it's spotlighted, though. There. Okay, so what I was saying. Choking hand goes around as far as it can. Shoulder, top of your shoulder, needs to come to the middle of the chest. So you bring it to the middle of the chest, and then you go forward and push into that wrist that he was talking about. <clears throat> that will get rid of like the chin and stuff, and the chin is in the way and all that. And like a rear naked choke, a lot of times if you do this properly, you can dig through a chin. Because it's a genuinely uncomfortable experience. It's kind of like a J. You're yep. Like, you're like down. You're doing. You're coming across and around. So you're kind of making a hook. That's the movement of your shoulder. Your shoulder's coming across and then forward. So it's hard to. So you're like this. The shoulder is coming back towards me to go to the middle of the chest. And then it's going forward. You're kind of making a. I don't know how to describe it. It's a J. It's a loop. Yep. It's like. This thing. It's the same as like when you're doing side control and you your shoulder. It's the same thing. Yep. It's about setting that shoulder right underneath the chin, right where the arteries are. And tie. I'm going to try and add the reverse Ezekiel to the, from the back to our round today. So is everyone comfortable with that or do we need to see it again? From the back, my hand is short again. You just did it from top to bottom. Professor Endell, I've confused myself the first time, and then Professor Endell showed it. So here we go. Right, the idea. So I'm going to end up again pulling my non-choking arm, so my arm underneath the armpit, up over the top grabbing my own sleeve as I attempt not to grab my rash guard, and then attacking the choke here. Or I can opt to, again, 
take my hook out, drop my partner to their side, kick them away, and finish it from the top. Okay, so again, pulling that non-choking arm through, grabbing my sleeve, and setting up the reverses equal. Pull, grab the other way. Go that side. Good. Wrap it around. Good. Take the hook out. There you go. Good. <coughs> yeah. So, you want to use that arm? Yeah, so you're going to move this side. And then pull the arm through. Pull oh, you your left arm through. Right away. Grab your right sleeve. Yeah, you have to move. Oh, yeah. You have to move across. Yeah. You don't have to let the guy out, but it will kind of improve your angle. So Alex, your son's arms might be too short, so let him do it without your arm in it. <laughs> and he'll get it. He'll still get it. He'll get it from right there. All Wait, right, let's start from standing. Sorry. That's it. Bring your arm behind the head. That's it. And now just straighten your arms. And then you'll choke your dad. Don't put him to sleep though. That's oh, more of a traditional Ezekiel. Yeah. Alex just passed so. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that got tight really quick. <laughs> All right, and X pass. Knee on belly. Windshield wipe. Windshield wipe. Jump switch. Jump switch again. Knee on belly arm bar. Scissor choke. Grab the Kimura grip, back over the top, Kimura. Good, back step to side control. Switch to the Americana. Back to side control. Take the back. Rear naked choke. Back to the seat belt. Arm bar from the back. Arm bar switch. Arm bar switch. Arm bar to S mount. S mount to regular mount. Head and arm choke. Ezekiel. Yep, he got it. Arm comes around. There, it looks like Jacinta's got it. Kick your dummy away, go to side control. Side control, Kimura. <laughs> Step over, dorsal Kimura. Kimura to arm bar. Arm bar to Esma. We would have to take that leg out first. I was seeing who could figure it out. Yeah, it's like this is on the screen. This is medicine. Good. Let's see who can do the S mount to triangle. Let's see who can figure this out. It's pretty simple. That's one way to do it. That is totally wrong. Well, you just locked it the wrong way. You had there. it. Time. There. There's always a couple of things I throw in there just to see who can figure it out. The yes, S-mount to triangle is actually it's fairly locked. simple. Three. So, locked. there you go. Okay. Okay. So, the S-mount to the triangle. If I'm in the S-mount, right, I'm already pinched tight. I've got 
I've got both arms in. All I've got to do is I've got to eliminate one of those arms. There's a couple of ways to do this, but again, I'm going to show you with Coach Lincoln in a second. One of the easier ways that I've seen is to, again, I love this sequence. So you just pull the head, right? Get your partner up onto their side. Keep pulling on the head. And we can eliminate that arm, jumping this one over, taking this part. This is why I like that grip behind the head so much. So if I get to the S mount, however I've gotten there, if I can get behind the head and get into the arm, right? You can see I can force my partner onto the side and that arm starts getting eliminated kind of naturally. Now I can just grab my own shin, pull it into position. I can come over the top and then lock here, or not lock in this case, and get the triangle, okay? There's a lot of like common threads as you start to see me teach. A lot of the things I do, there are certain tendencies, right? So I love that grip behind the head and getting into the armpit. I, I only recently realized that this was called the stocks position, or the stockade. Um, not sure if it's a 10 planet thing, but someone named it. Um, so I've been doing that a lot, and I've been doing that a lot in, in the past year, and it's worked really well both from side control and from the mount. So definitely play with that one. I'm sure there are other ways to get to the triangle from S mount, but this one is the one that's, this one's pretty much the only one that's ever worked for me. Okay, just getting behind the head, getting into the armpit, and using your forearm as a bar to just sort of pressure your opponent's head. Good. Any questions on anything we did today? Arm triangle. Reverse Ezekiel, pulling that through, getting there. If you have no questions, start to think about all the arm, arm triangles. Actually, just try to think about all the triangles and how they connect. Dars, Anaconda, Guillotine, Normal Arm Triangle, Reverse Ezekiel, Ezekiel, um, and your regular leg triangles. Try to figure out and think in your mind before you go to bed while you're laying down and you're thinking. Think about how they're connected because they're all connected. The problem is you'll learn in a Darce, you'll learn in an Anaconda, you'll learn in Ezekiel in a separate class or separate classes, and you learn them as a technique and maybe once in a while you might see one and you might pull one off. But if you do that, you're gonna it's gonna take you really long to learn all this stuff. It's better now that you've gone through kind of almost all of them, try to think of how they're connected and how you can connect them. You have a dummy at home, you have a grappling dummy, play around with it, roll around and see how you can, you can seamlessly switch from one to the other to the other. Does that make sense? Uh, an example, um, so Dars and Anaconda are very simple. It's like rocking a baby, they're, 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 they're related, right? Arm triangle and the reverse Ezekiel, it's like rocking a baby, it's related, right? You do one this way, you do the other, you do the other one that way. That's that that's that's all it is. So now you have to figure out how is that linked to a guillotine. So sometimes, right, when your arm is like this, you have your front version of chokes, and then when your arm is looped around, you have your, your back version of chokes, which is like your, your guillotines. So you have to figure out how I could loop my arm from here to here to here to here, right? Right? It's just four movements. It's literally Movement one, movement two, movement three, movement four. How do you link those four movements together and you will get all these jokes, right? That's, that's what you need to think about. So homework, think about it. You have all weekend. Do you have your, your whole life? Think about it. <laughs> A lot of times if you just connect your hands and then pull them to either one side or the other, you'll get one version of an arm triangle, assuming you've included an arm. Right, so rocking the baby is a very useful thing to think about. Right, either pulling the arm all the way through to here, pulling it all the way through to that side. If right. you lose an arm, then it's not an arm triangle anymore, but you have guillotines, and you have your north-south type chokes, right? So they're all related, right? A north-south choke, your arm is literally in it's in this position, except you're turned and you're facing backwards. It's the exact same position. So again, they're all connected. They're all related. You need to understand and see how they're all connected. The well, one thing we probably didn't talk about was the ten finger guillotine, which But it's is, still a guillotine. Yeah, which is the exception to all those rules, but
both your hands just end up in the middle. Is all. Good. Alright. Good. Well done today, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy the weekends. Stay safe. You bug. Alright, let's bow. Left over right. Let's. Let's.